Well, Live to Lead is a new Netflix documentary inspired by the life and leadership of President Nelson Mandela. It is created and directed by Jeff Blackwell and its executive producers are Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The film features interviews with prominent South Africans and global leaders like Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, the former U.S. Supreme Court associate and climate activist Greta Thunberg. Sela Hatang is the CEO of the Nelson Mandela Foundation and joins Full View now. Good evening, Sela, and welcome. This is a diverse group, seasoned institutional leaders, as well as younger leaders like Sia Colisi and young and controversial leaders like Greta, who are still figuring out their own way to lead in uh, an uncertain, sometimes hypercritical world. How did you settle, how did the, the directors settle on this particular mix? Thank you so much, uh, Iman, and uh, it's really an absolute honor to be here tonight. Um, and I, I think uh, in terms of the, the list, uh, we, we, the way we, we came up with this list was uh, uh, Ruth Hobday, Vern Harris, and uh, Jeff Blackwell and I were sitting together trying to figure out what kind of leader do we want to feature on this program so that we then have people who identify with the values, maybe to uh, forgiving of uh, wrong, maybe who are not giving uh, uh, too, too, being too humble when we need to be humble, and also people who care deeply, who give hope uh, to people who have lost hope. And a lot of these leaders are doing precisely that demand. You know, Stella, one of the remarkable reasons behind the making of this film is the transition in focus from the globally lauded leadership of Nelson Mandela to new ways in which leaders are leading today. You touched on it a little bit in, in, in your explanation there. Share more about why this is so important. You know, one of the things that we, we kind of pride ourselves with, um, and I, I think maybe I need to mention that uh, um, in the process of getting uh, the, the Duke and Duchess uh, uh, to participate in this uh, process, was how do we make sure that it becomes an international product? Uh, that can then be at my, at, at, uh, uh, used by leaders globally who can then say, I have learned something from it. And in this instance, you find that uh, uh, we decided that we should also go back to their backgrounds. If you look at someone like Brian Stevenson, Iman, who what, didn't have a title, and we're saying uh, uh, the leaders back then and even now don't need a title to, to, to make a difference. We need to then be saying, how do we make sure that people don't emphasize title more than they emphasize work? How do I serve? How do I become a better leader instead of one who always emphasizes the title that they hold? Brian Stevenson didn't have a title, a big title when he started the work that he did. All of all these leaders were looking at it from an injustice. If you look at them, all of them, they were dealing with an injustice, including someone like Siakolisi, uh, 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 who used his profile to ensure that he goes back and plows back to those who uh, invested in his future uh, while he was young. So we are trying to, to sort of say to, to leaders today, whether you are a nurse, whether you are a teacher, a, a counselor, in a municipality like the one that where I am now, uh, in, in, in Matosana, you can do something to, make, to bring about a difference instead of always just saying, what do I have to get out of it? You can say, what do I have to give uh, for others to then benefit from my leadership? Mm -hmm. uh, Sela, I'm quite intrigued about uh, the B-roll. 15 people were interviewed and the list was whittled down to seven. Will there be a second cut? You know, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm glad you asked that question, Iman, because uh, we've been knocking at the door of, uh, of our partners to say maybe we should do more. Uh, we take the first um, uh, list and then we go back and, and uh, do the balance of those that we left behind. And in fact, um, some of them uh, had said they were not ready to be featured. So it's not just a question of um, uh, the B list. It's actually others who said they were not ready to be featured, but we produced books out of each one of them. So there, there's a book series um, that we have uh, released, and you can get it from all the uh, the bookstores uh, who have those books. Um, uh, and you can also get them online on from Amazon. Each one of them has a book that we, we, we've produced. So we'll have a second series, hopefully, um, and even uh, do another series of new leaders who want to be, who we would like to feature 
going forward. In other words, this was the beginning of a long process because there's new leaders who are um, uh, coming up as we grow um, our leadership program as the Nelson Mandela Foundation and the partners that we have. So it, it premiered uh, on Netflix on uh, New Year's Eve and it's going to be uh, released in episodes. Um, do you just want to share quickly the lineup of expectation? Uh, and, and of course, people luckily in the age of, uh, you know, platforms like Netflix, we can always go back and watch things that we might have missed or, you know, kind of marathon watch things. Just share with us just um, the order of how the series unfolds. The, the nice thing uh, and the good news is that we released all of them at the same time. So you can binge watch uh, tonight and uh, we're saying to the to the viewers, um, you can go out and watch it uh, uh, from uh, as soon as you've watched a uh, full view. I don't want uh, Iman to then lose viewers. <laughs> we first watch Iman from this, uh, from watching a uh, full view, you can then go and uh, do watch the full uh, series because all seven are online and you can then uh, 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 appreciate them, binge watch all of them. And uh, as we release them, as we release more, we will come back uh, to, to you, Iman, to say we, we've uh, convinced our partners that we can do more. But the key to this uh, program is that uh, each one of these leaders um, uh, have, they have a, a, the circumstances they come from, where they were tested as young people, where they were tested as struggle activists, and each one of them they had to face. So where you start doesn't necessarily determine where you end. So young people yeah. should know the future that, that belongs to them, that you don't have to wait. You can start now. It doesn't matter where you are, what station you occupy, you can start now. Uh, I think that's a really beautiful point you make there, Cello, about, uh, you know, the emergent leader, somebody who, you know, in many cases, just going about their daily work, showing leadership in some of the small ways that you talked about and, and, and suddenly um, developing into somebody of, you know, stature and somebody that people look up to and respect. Thank you very much for sharing with us those details and for preserving our audience for the SABC. Cello Hatang, the CEO there of the Nelson Mandela Foundation, talking to us about this new uh, documentary series profiling global and local uh, leadership stars, one would say, that's uh, just premiered on Netflix.